two launches leave the Menai Straits for delivery to the Royal Navy. They are in fact motor survey launches for the hydrographic department of the Ministry of Defence. Six of them, built in Anglesey by Gloucester Cerro of Dormaris, have already been delivered to the Royal Navy and are working from parent ships, carrying out inshore survey works in remote places all over the world. So far, eight of these trim little craft have been built, and another is on the stocks for the Time Tees Conservancy Board. They are capable of travelling at a maximum speed of 10 knots for over 20 hours without refuelling. The Ministry of Defence is paying £9,000 each for these vessels, but there is quite an amount of expensive equipment on board. Without this equipment, the price would be around £7,000, and of course this means that they can be adapted as a pleasure cruiser. The man who saw this Welsh-designed and built craft through from drawing board to delivery is the work supervisor at Gloucester Cerro, Mr. Bill Williams. Now, what are some of the main features of this craft? This craft is designed for inshore survey, which means maximum manoeuvrability, uh, hence the uh, incorporation of the stern gear for special stern gear for this kind of work. That means that this boat must manoeuvre very, very slowly for this special kind of work, is that right? Very much so, yes. yes. Anything else? Well, the hull is designed in glass fibre, uh, reinforced with uh, polystyrene resin. What about crew accommodation? Crew of six, uh, with accommodation, bunks and galley toilets to cover six people. Now, although this one we're standing on has specifically been designed for the Royal Navy, it is possible to have one built as a pleasure cruiser. Yes, indeed. As a matter of fact, we have one on the drawing board now as a luxury cruiser. This, is, this hull will lend itself very good for that kind of work. In other words, it could be a potential dollar earner for this country. Well, I very much hope so.